Right, guys, now I've got the uh, LOL tractor up to 60%. So let's have a look at the, uh, the service record, and I'll show you where we are. Right, 60%, average XP of 338, 25 battles. So we've only got a first-class mastery, so it'd be nice to have better than that, but as we're trying to progress on to the, uh, the Tier 10 as quickly as possible, I'm going to move us on, so we'll go back and have... A look at the, uh, the tech tree see where we are now we've actually got free experience of uh, 2201 which hasn't been put into the crew the commander is on 92 percent second on 101 percent third 101 percent as well so let's have a look at the, uh, the tech tree so we're going up the panzer 2 line we'll have a look in the uh, the big tech tree right going up the panzer 2 from the LOL Tractor, Panzer II, then to follow this up, we actually want to be on the heavy line as soon as possible, which would give us just these two tanks to take a crew up to be uh, quite good in light tanks. So we want to move the, uh, the LOL Tractor crew into the Panzer II, the Panzer III, and then convert them to be a heavy crew, followed up from the DW2, Dirkswagen II, to the VK 3001 H at 3601 and then into the Tiger 1 and so on. Now, looking at the uh, progression, Panzer 2, we've got this SPR, which is a radio which is not used in a lot of tanks apart from the, um, uh, the, the RT. So and we're not going up the, the Panzer 1 route, so you may not want it at this stage. Whereas the engine, the Maybach, and the, uh, the 62TR and the TRM, we need to be able to take it up to the, uh, the Panzer 3. So we're going to have to research these. So at the moment we're running, as you can see, 570 experience. We want to have the tank equipped as soon as possible. We've already got the uh, the gun We've already got this gun ready, so we only need to uh, to unlock it. No, we've actually unlocked that one as well. So we've got all the guns unlocked. The turret, engine, and tracks are the key to doing it. Now the Panzer II is underpowered, and so you want to get the yeah, the most powerful engines as soon as possible. So we're going to buy the tank, and at the moment it's it's cheap. So let's buy the tank. I'm going to purchase. Let's see if we can purchase it. Without a crew. Yep, there we go. In the garage. So now we can uh, we're going to equip it. So we've got 573. We're going to need the tracks to be able to uh, to get the uh, the engine on. So we'd have ground to have uh, enough enough credits. So keep keep playing the LTR until you've got enough credits to be able to uh, to go straight into this. So from the 470, got the tracks for 100, 145 for that engine. Well, don't buy it if you don't have to. Go for the next one. We've got 325 credits left, uh, experience left. So we'll buy that engine, put it in. So it's got the best engine. Now the radio is very expensive. The one we've got at the moment will give us 265 meters of view range, of uh, signal range to between tanks. The next one, the uh, the the Fug 7 is quite useful, but we can't really afford it. So we got, at the moment, we want to have the top turret, which gives the difference between the standard one, here's the standard turret, and the top turret. Doesn't look like a lot, but it's got an additional 5mm of armour on the sides, and a be much better by 5 degrees traverse speed, and the view range. The view range is up by 30 metres, and that's significant for a light tank. You want to have as much view range as possible, preferably as good a, a radio as possible to be able to signal, because your main job is to scout. You, the job of a scout is to scout. So the, as soon as we can get the, uh, the best radio we can, so I'm going to sort out some experience, and we'll carry on, and I'll show you what to do at the next stage. Right, let's look at the crew at the moment. So 92, 101, 101. Effective view range, 299 metres with 374 metres 
when you've got the uh, the, the crew fully equipped and uh, with binoculars so let's drop all the crew put them into the uh, the Panzer II okay suddenly he's dropped down to 65% the driver has dropped down to 72 and the loader has dropped down to 72 from 101 that they were in now why is that so you've lost 22% because they're in the wrong vehicle the view range has gone down to a base of 246 whereas on the tier before we had 299 meter view range with the same crew but this is a better tank but you've actually got less view range so you're gonna to have to do something about it so at this stage you click on the personnel file go into training click on current vehicle and then you've got the option to either spend 200 gold or to use 20,000 experience uh, 20,000 credits or zero credits and reduce the skill to 70% so at the moment he's on 65 you get hardly anything from it so if you go to 79% you'd in effect just be gaining 14% so is is it worth it? It could well be worth it. So at this stage, you you've got the choice of spending the gold and keeping him at his uh, his standard eighty seven percent, or do you want to go down to uh, seventy nine? Because at the moment, all we need to research. So in this tank, we just need to have thirteen hundred and sixty for the radio, three hundred and twenty to get the turret. 3,600 to get that radio, so radios are quite important, but there's only between the 455 meter signal range of that radio and the 415 meters of the one before. There's not a lot of difference, so for that 3,600 extra, you don't gain a lot, but it's a lot of experience at this level. And for the next uh, tank, it's 1,500 experience, so it's not going to take that long to do. So we've got the option to use the free experience to to get these components so you can spend your gold and use free experience to convert it because at the moment 145 free experience for 142 gold we can convert all that we've got so far which will give us almost 4000 free experience so through 3,000 3, which will pay for the turret that radio and it would actually pay for the purchase of this uh, this tank so we could you've got the option at this stage to actually just get this one straight out and then move the crew straight into it so if you've got the the gold to be able to do that that is a better way of doing it but I'm not going to do it that way I'm going to do it as though I've got no credits so I'm going to put a crew in I'm going to buy what I can buy just using free experience put the crew in and grind them whereas it's more efficient not to grind them to just convert the uh, the free experience completely miss this tank go straight into this one otherwise when I put the crew in I can Okay, you've got the option of putting the crew in and having them drop for just those 15 or 20 games and then you've got to move them again and the crew experience is going to drop again if you're paying for credits. So both times the crew experience is going to drop. Whereas if you had the credits that you could use, the uh, the gold that you could use, you can just move the crew straight from the LOL tractor, straight into the, uh, the Panzer III, Pay gold, have them at uh, the, the maximum ex experience you've uh, you've earned. Miss out this tank completely, and right now you'd be going straight into a tier three. That is the most efficient way of doing it. But I'm here to show you the both ways. So right now, when the crew that could be far better, move them straight in. But I'm going to do it as though you've got no money. So doing it, I'm going to move the t the crew in. Use twenty thousand, reduce their skill and play them through but that's not the most efficient way of doing it so give me a minute I shall sort that out I'll sort the crew out and then we'll get into a game and I'll show you where where we are with that so bear with me right we're ready to go 
let's put uh, okay binoculars on camo net which we moved off the uh, the lol tractor then improve vents so you save up f use the uh, lol tractor to get you the credit for the 50,000 to be able to uh, to move that across because the one that's on the lol tractor you would have to uh, sell or demount for 10 gold if you haven't got the 10 gold I'm showing you what you have to do and sadly you've got to go buy a brand new one so there's the crew ready to go so in clicking personal file training current vehicle 20,000 20, to get you just 79% so that's what we've got to do click on the next crewman personnel file training current vehicle train so this is trying to do it without gold so you've just got to spend the time to be able to make sure you've got the credits to do it don't don't just get by the tank and not do it you need to do it the rapid training course you could do but it'll it'll drop your skills by an additional 12 percent which is up to you if you don't want to spend the credits and don't can't wait which I would say you should wait so get the best you can do for the credits so imagine you spent more time grinding the tank getting the crew more experience and then put them through the regimental school don't do the rapid training course it's not worth it you'll be at a much more significant disadvantage if you do so don't uh, don't do that do it the right way save up get the credits and be able to uh, put them through the regimental school so that's them all ready to go they've roughly lost 10 percent so from about 90 95 well that he was 100 and uh, 101 now go down to 91 so your effective view range at the moment has gone from 290 or it was 310 to two, 252 effective but with binoculars 316 so you're in the right ballpark the radio we haven't got the right one yet tracks are equipped which is good radio uh, the engine we've got the top engine now the turret we haven't got enough for the top turret yet so we could have ca carried on grinding the lower level uh, to, to get the uh, free experience but it's not effective to do that it's more effective to move into the next tank at that stage and if use your free experience that you've got available at this low level because it uh, it's not going to hamper you too much whereas at higher levels it's be much better to fully equip the tank before you move on otherwise you're then at a much more significant disadvantage so I'm gonna buy the uh, camo for 30 days uh, for seven days so let's get it camoed up ready to rock so it's gonna cost you 15,000 to uh, put on a week's worth of camo I've equipped the tank ready to go with uh, and so let's get into a battle so this hasn't got the best uh, it's, it's got a good engine got the tracks hasn't got the best radio it's okay around the battlefield a little bit slow not as fast as it could be hasn't got the best view range so that's what we've got to address as quickly as possible so now we've got the tank ready we've got the crew in there we're ready to push along whereas if you've got the money for the uh, the gold we could have jumped straight to the tier three got the same crew at the same stage and actually spent a little bit of gold upgraded them to 100 percent so they, they would have kept maintained that 101 percent efficiency rather than dropping to 91 percent so it's up to you it depends what you've got so here we are we'll get in i'll show you what this is like oh i would have done we'll get back into it the server's just gone we'll carry on later <laughs> 